At the 2015 World Championships in Beijing, China, Christian Taylor of the United States jumped further into history with a winning triple jump of 18.21 meters. That was the second best jump of all time, only 8 centimeters behind Jonathan Edwards' world record of 18.29 meters set back in 1995. After this gold medal winning performance, the conversation on if Taylor can become the greatest triple jumper of all time really started to emerge. Since then, almost 5 years in the sport have gone by and Taylor has added a plethora of accolades to his resume. So it begs the question, is Christian Taylor now the greatest triple jumper ever? And if not, what would it take for him to become number one all time? Over the decades, the greatest triple jumpers have come from various countries around the world. De Silva from Brazil in the 1950s, Schmidt from Poland in the 1960s, Mike Connolly and Kenny Harrison from the United States in the 80s and 90s, Christian Olsen from Sweden in the early 2000s. But in my opinion, there are only two other men who can really challenge Christian Taylor for the title of greatest triple jumper of all time. First, of course, there's Jonathan Edwards from Great Britain. We all know he broke the world record in 1995 with his jump of 18.29 meters, which still stands to this day. But he also has an end route jump of 18.16 meters, which was not only his first world record, but also the first legal jump over 18 meters before his eventual 18.29 meter jump. He also has had other jumps of 18 meters flat and an 18.01 meter jump in his career. In addition, he had a host of wind-aided jumps including 18.43 meters and 18.39 meters in early 1995. But what about his accolades? He won gold at the Sydney 2000 Olympics and silver in Atlanta 1996. He also had a host of world championship medals including gold in 1995 and 2001, silver in 1997, as well as bronzes in 1993 and 1999. The other jumper who many may not know about is Viktor Saneyev, who competed for the Soviet Union. His career spanned about 20 years from the early 1960s until 1980, so in a very different era where there were no world championships and the only medal chances were the Olympic Games every four years. In 1968, he jumped 17.23 meters and 17.39 meters. He followed that up four years later in 1972 with a jump of 17.44 meters. Now, you may not consider those two too significant compared to Mark's set today, but at the time, each of those jumps were world records in the triple jump, so extremely significant in the context of the event. Most importantly though were his medals. He won Olympic golds in 1968, gold in 1972, gold in 1976, and a silver in 1980. That's three consecutive Olympic gold medals as well as a silver medal in the span of 12 years and four Olympic games. This has never been done before, and you can argue if there were world championships back in his time, he may have a plethora of extra gold medals to add to his resume. Now compared to these two, what has Christian Taylor done in his career up to this point? As I mentioned previously, his personal best of 18.21 meters is number two all time in the triple jump. He also has jumps of 18.11 meters, 18.06 meters, 18.04 meters, and 18.02 meters. So with that, he has five jumps over 18 meters, the most of any triple jumper in the history of the event. And Taylor's career is all about gold medals, back-to-back -back Olympic golds in London 2012 and Rio 2016, then four world championship gold medals in 2011, 2015, 2017, and most recently in 2019 just last year. So stacking the three of them up together, we can clearly see that they all have been at the top of the triple jump throughout their careers. But one last statistic that I think adds to the total picture is their world rankings throughout the years. Looking at the track and field news world rankings, Jonathan Edwards ranked number one in the world seven times as well as twice at number two, once at number three, and once at number six. Viktor Saneyev was number one in the world nine times as well as number two, number three, number four, and number five once each in his career. Finally, Christian Taylor has been ranked number one a total of eight times as well as once at number two. So putting all these in perspective, I don't think Christian Taylor is overall the greatest of all time yet, but I do think he is number two all time only behind Viktor Saneyev while Jonathan Edwards is my number three. Saneyev's Olympic golds and silver, multiple world records, and number one rankings are a display in longevity that is currently unmatched in the triple jump. And despite not having the world record yet, Taylor's five times over 18 meters, his six world and Olympic gold medals, as well as his eight number one world rankings are accolades Jonathan Edwards was unable to match in his career. But Taylor's career is not over. He is only 29 years old and still 
still has a lot of jumping left in him. In my opinion, if Christian Taylor wins the gold medal at the Tokyo 2021 Olympics next year, he would solidify himself as the greatest triple jumper in track and field history. So go in the comments below, let me know if you think Christian Taylor is already the greatest triple jumper ever or what he would need to do before he retires to solidify that top spot. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again for the next video. Thanks.